Hello everyone, this is Paul Lassard with Hivewire 3D. In today's tutorial, we're going to cover converting your Daz Studio Clothing for Dawn to Poser. So, one of the first things that you have to do is make sure that your Poser runtime where you want to save your new clothing is mapped in Studio uh, uh, for the exporter. So, what we'll do is go ahead and select the content library tab, right click and select the content directory manager. Now I've already have mine mapped but you can go ahead and select the poser formats, click add, select your runtime folder and hit select folder. I'm going to go ahead and cancel it and then you're going to go ahead and hit accept here. Okay. So now we can get started. We'll go ahead and load up Dawn. Then we'll go ahead and load up the example clothing. In this case, it is the bikini. And there we have it. Now um, I'm going to go ahead and select the bikini so that you can see that. Um, I do have additional morphs besides the body morphs that are, are included with the Dawn base. I've created these adjustment morphs. Um, and that's going to be saved out as a poser binary file or .pmd. So we'll make sure that these morphs will be working in poser. All right, make sure if you do put any on, you zero them out before uh, exporting. Okay, there are two things you got to look for when you export with your uh, clothing selected. You want to make sure it's fit to Dawn. Okay, it's under the miscellaneous. And then you want to make sure that the mesh resolution is set to base so that it doesn't try to export out Daz Studio subdivision. Okay, so once that is done, then you can go ahead and export out your new clothing. So select File, Export, uh, navigate to where you want to do it. I've already got a String Bikini Poser version here. I'm going to go ahead and label that String Bikini 2. Let's make sure that that is in fact the right directory. And it is. Okay. Make sure that it is a Poser CR2 file that you are exporting and go ahead and click Save. You're going to get your uh, CR2 Export Options dialog. Um, the Poser version should already be there at 9 for you since this is a weight map figure. You want to make sure that the figure type is set to conforming figure and it will be as long as you had the Fit to option here. If it's not, you can set it there. Then you want to make sure that all of these conforming uh, options are checked so that uh, Poser will conform the clothing properly. Check your base path. Um, it's where this should be your Poser runtime that you've mapped. And then check your CR2 path. It should be the clothing uh, folder that you saved to in the, option, in the uh, step just prior to this. In this case, um, in uh, Hyperware 3D Dawn clothing string bikini and string bikini 2.cr2. You want to make sure that you have the save binary morphs file option checked. You could use the XP um, but uh, for this example we recommend you use the uh, native uh, PMD files. We'll go ahead and hit accept and that should just export everything out into your clothing. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and open up Poser to test that file. Make sure that uh, your Poser directory is mapped. Simply click on your Add Library and go down and select the proper runtime. Um, mine being in here as the runtime you can see it's already highlighted and click OK. Mine's already mapped. So we'll go ahead and open this up and we're going to go ahead and load up our clothing. 
See string bikini two right here. Zoom in a little bit. Oh, you can see that a little better. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and load Dawn. Then we're going to select the bikini. Conform to Dawn. So first thing I want to test is those adjustment poses while I still have the string bikini selected. So uh, under shaping you'll see the adjustments and here we go. So we'll just take that bottom loosen again and test and as you can see it grew a little bit. Um, the top loosen, yeah. So it looks like our morphs were transferred over. Next step is to make sure that the um, conforming morphs are working as well as the uh, poses. So we're going to go ahead and select on. And we're going to go over here to our uh, pose library. And we're going to select the morphs and inject her base morphs. Okay, and they show up right there. We'll go ahead and test torso. All right, so you can see our morphs seem to be working. Very good. So both sets of morphs are now working. Close that folder, and then we're going to test some of the, uh, make sure the conforming is working properly. So we'll go ahead and test that with some of these poses. And as you can see, we have a working poser clothing version for Dawn. And that's it. Thanks for watching.